Hey guys, today is April 1st, so you know what that means, another weigh-in. Let's just jump into it. So, if you remember last month I weighed 172.1 and my only goal for this month was to get into the 160s. So, let's take a look at the scale. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Like, Autumn, oh my God, you did it! Yes, I'm so excited for you! 167.4, like, I know, right? Like, I should be happy. But, to be honest, like, March was just a really tough month. Like, the only phrase that comes to mind is, don't let the scale be an indicator or your only indicator of success. But people generally say that when they've been doing everything right and the scale doesn't move. That's when you're like, oh, well, don't let the scale be your only indicator. You were eating right, you lost inches, you did everything you could control, like you did everything right. So it doesn't matter what the scale says. Well, funny enough, in this instance, it's kind of the opposite. The number on the scale went down, so that should be an indicator of success. However, I don't feel like I did every or really anything right. Like, March, I was just eating out of control. This is really when the term, you know, sleeper calories come into play. Like, I just felt myself loosening the reins in an unhealthy way. An extra Jello cup here, an extra Zevia there. Oh, a little bit more sunflower seeds, or just, you know, sprinkle some of my salad, throw some in my mouth. Like, no, you can't do that, or at least I can't do that, because before you know it, the scale starts going up. So even though I felt myself exhibiting those behaviors and the scale still happened to go down, I still know that there's things that I need to work on and that things I need to get better at and to rein it in in April. And to be honest, these past few days or weeks, I should say, at the end of March, I've just been feeling really bad. Like my stomach's been feeling really bad. I've been having trouble sleeping. Uh, if you don't know, I have Crohn's disease, which is a chronic inflammatory disease of your intestines. And so I've just been in real pain. And the keto diet used to make that pain go away. That's one of the reasons I honestly started the keto diet. So the fact that it's coming back, I feel like I'm sneaking too many artificial sweeteners. I honestly feel like I was having too uh, many vegetables. So I need to scale back on my vegetables uh, and just get back to what makes me feel good. And I've kind of been treating the last couple weeks of March as in like, what can I get away with? So how much erythritol can I get away with? How much sucralose can I get away with? And I just want to be better than that for myself. So to be honest, I am, I, I am, I am proud. I cannot believe I'm in the 160s. Like my lowest recorded weight ever has been 160, like 0.5 or something. So like the fact that I'm so close to my lowest weight ever is scary and it's awesome and I'm so proud of myself, but that doesn't mean I can slack off. And, and not only for the weight, but just for knowing what feels good for myself, I want to do better in April. So I'm challenging you to do better in April. I'm challenging myself. Let's get back to the basics and let's get back to doing what makes us feel good. Oh, I forgot to mention, today is my cheat day. As you know, I go off keto for one day every three months and my last cheat day was New Year's. So today being April and Easter, I am on cheat day, woo! And even though I don't feel too proud of myself for the way that March ended, I am giving myself a break, I'm taking the day, I am not worrying, and I'm just eating what I want to because I know I'll get back on track tomorrow. So even though I was close to punishing myself for not killing March the way I wanted to and saying, oh no, skip your cheat day, like I knew that wouldn't work for me, I should just eat guilt-free today and get back on it tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Also, ding that notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll catch you next month.